coronavirus pandemic started, online pet scams took off as people were stuck at home. They were looking for some companionships. They were adopting or looking for pets. More than two years later, those scams are still going strong, and they're also costing victims thousands. Tonight, consumer investigator Brian Roach is on your side with the story of a woman who fell victim to this scam and doesn't want you to do the same. You know, there are some scams out there that no matter how many warnings are issued, people are still going to fall for them. That's because once emotions get involved, the warning signs of a scam are blocked out and the scammer easily manipulates the victim. This is an example. This picture was sent to me by a viewer who wishes to remain anonymous, but she lost $2,100 believing she was going to be able to purchase this Maltese puppy posted for sale on Facebook. The seller only communicated with her through text messages. That's the first warning sign. At first, she was told her dog would cost just $500. Then she was told there would be delivery fees and she would have to pay for delivery insurance. After sending three $500 gift cards, a total of $1,500, the victim was told the cards were no good. There was no money on the cards. She would need to go out and get new cards. And that's where the scam is right there. The crooks did get the $1,500, but they lied to the victim, hoping to extract even more money from her. They wanted her to use gift cards because you can't track where they have been cashed. This is the fourth online pet scam I've heard about from viewers in just the last week alone. If the seller won't speak to you directly, you can't see the pet beforehand, and the seller is asking for payment through gift cards, that's a scam. I'm Brian Roach on your side, WGAL News 8.